Hi guys and dolls, how are you? Okay, so, uh, just touching base with you all. Um, let you know what I've been up to. I, the other day, I, I'm in Missouri, okay? The other day we had heat index of 105. And I went to what's called a boat demo, where you try out different types of boats and, you know, it costs you just a few dollars, it's not a big deal. And, um things went south pretty fast for me so anyway I was um, I was on the water obviously exerting myself but I was you know pacing myself or so I thought and then I got out of the water and I must have started looking bad because one of the young ladies that works at the store said do you want me to get you some water and I'm like sure that'll be good and then I was, you know, shooting the breeze with them or whatever. And um, I'm wearing a snug swimsuit because the spe it's a special material. I mean, it's obviously flexible, but it's a special material that, um, pr you know, protects me from the sun because my skin is hypersensitive to the sun. Okay, so then within just a matter of minutes, I started, I don't know, about 15 minutes in. So I'd already been on the water for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and then another 15 minutes or so, and my body was, was done. And I told her I had to leave because I was getting weak. So then by the time I got to the car, um, I put my hand on the handle, opened up the door, and I was just not well. And I was nauseous and really close to vomiting and I know that's like TMI but I think we've all done it right and I'm trying so hard not to do it because I don't want to do it in the car I'm thinking maybe I could do it in the parking lot maybe I could do it in the grass I'm hoping I can make it to the grass and thank God the AC was on in the car and I was good you know it was good um, after probably about six minutes or so I was maybe five minutes I was better I unzipped part of my swimsuit and uh, had huge beads of sweat on me. I had my had to take my shoes off, my my water shoes had to take them off because I want as much skin as possible exposed to the AC. So the reason I give you all that information, <laughs> TMI, is because I want you guys to be careful. Um, make sure you're drinking a lot, a lot, a lot of fluids. It does not matter. If you're thirsty or not, drink, 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 and drink some more. Water, preferably, okay? No alcohol. Water. And I talked to a nurse about what happened to me, and she told me that I had, it, I was going into heat exhaustion. And then after heat exhaustion is heat stroke, which is a medical emergency. So you, you don't want to wait until you start getting muscle cramps and your whole body is seizing up on you and you're in, you're in severe pain and you're dizzy and you're um, nauseated and you're about to vomit and then you get to the point where your body quits sweating altogether and that's a very, very dangerous situation. It's potentially fatal. So please dress appropriately. Please drink a lot of water. Please, okay? All right. I also want to talk to you guys because we've been down this road before, a time or two or three or ten. Um, I want to talk to you about narcissists and how certain careers attract them. Um, doctors, lawyers, judges, cops, you know, professors at college. I mean, any career that the person's in charge, they've got a bit of authority that can draw narcissists because they love the power and they love the fact that people need them. Everybody with a high-powered position or a position where they've got some authority, they're not all narcissists, but narcissists are drawn to fields like that. Um, another thing, I talked to this individual not too long ago who kept saying over and over and over again that he was a lawyer, a lawyer, a lawyer. Have you ever dated a lawyer, a lawyer, a lawyer? I'm a lawyer. And just said it so often. And it's like, I really don't care what a person does for a living. If you're not a nice person, the fact that you're an attorney or a doctor or whoever, president of a whatever, CEO of whoever, what I don't really give a rat's ass. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to be blunt about it. I don't care because that doesn't stop you from being nuts. 
Your resume does not stop you from being a psychopath. It doesn't stop you from being a sociopath. It does not stop you from being borderline personality disorder or any other type of disorder. And it doesn't stop you from being a um, narcissist. So, which is part of the cluster B personalities and those other illnesses go hand in hand with narcissism. So I don't really give a damn about your resume. That doesn't prevent people from getting hurt, killed, cheated on, verbally abused, physically abused. So I don't really care about your resume. Um, and I know guys love to say women are gold diggers, gold diggers. Um, let me refresh your mind because you all men, some of y'all men forget that you are looking for women to take care of you financially. Um, not everybody wants your stupid money. I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm just saying not all of us are like that. And I've said all of my life that I've always felt like I was born in the wrong era. I don't fit in society. My mentality is totally different from a lot of people. I don't believe in sleeping with strangers and having a score sheet for all the people I've slept. With. I mean, come on. I, you know, I'm a relationship kind of girl, not a let me sleep with as many people as I can and get as many dinners as I can and get as much money as I can. I don't really care about that. Your mental stability is the numero uno most important thing to me. Really. And I know that sounds weird. And men need to stop calling women gold diggers because a lot of them are looking for sugar mamas. Let's just keep it real. Let's just let's just keep it freaking real. Okay. So anyway, um, y'all be careful that with the heat and everything. Um, I'm not gonna be too 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 long on here. But yeah, I don't give a damn about a person's resume. Memorize my face. I'm the one who doesn't care about your resume. I care about your mental stability. And if you know, if anybody has watched my videos and then they try to get to know me and they've got game in their head, if you've seen my videos, you know that I already know all about narcs. And I'm going to find out who's a narc pretty fast. Okay? Your selfishness and your lack of empathy is a very dead giveaway. Uh, yo, it's a dead giveaway. Um, and the, and the fake empathy and the fake compassion, I can smell that a mile away. So save it. Anyway, I love you guys. Thanks you for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, why not hit the button? It's free. Talk to you later. Y'all be careful. Stay hydrated. No driving and texting, texting and driving. Nope. Let's not do that. No text is worth losing your life for. I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.